up everybody Good it's morning. vincent joan smith and my wife patrice here showing you guys a what sold video we got our tablet here and we got everything that's sold here plus a really cool pair of nikes that i'm going to show you guys after what sold that we recently found with a comp for six hundred dollars <laughs> And some really cool Thomas the Train stuff you would want to know about if you don't already know about it. Pay $150 for that box of Thomas the Train stuff. So, Bolo. And let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to share with you guys that sold, let me have a seat, is the Harley boots right here. Patrice, if you could show them those Harley boots, please. Harley Davidson motorcycle boots. We picked them up from an estate sale out in Viva Las Vegas. They sold for $45 plus $20 shipping. Like I said, we paid five for those at an estate sale. Now this next pair of shoes, I gave them to her and she wore them on New Year's, right? Yes. And then she decided, I'm going to go ahead and just list these on eBay. Didn't say nothing to me about it. I just happened to see it. They're a little too big. That's why. They're awesome, though. They're awesome. They have, they are, what is it? Poor La, Poor La Victoria or something. Mm -hmm. And they have a little bow in the front. They're navy blue. They're awesome. They're so cute. One dollar fine from Goodwill on Dollar Day, right? Mm-hmm. And we got, drum roll please, $23.60 for those. I and think I should have listed those for more. They sold in like less than a day. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. And the next thing that sold this weekend is this here. It's a little part to a coffee maker. I picked the whole machine up for a dollar at Goodwill Dollar Day. I don't like to sell the entire machine because they be defective and I don't like returns. So I sold the parts, paid a dollar for the entire machine. This piece sold for $10.99 plus $4.95 shipping. So that's cool. And we still got about four or five other parts from that machine listed. The next thing that sold is this pair of Toms. This was also a dollar fine. They're suede Tom's sandals and pay one dollar at Goodwill on dollar tag day. Sold it for $9.99 plus $7.88 shipping. And the next thing that sold is not here because it wasn't paid for yet. Is it the Nike? Yeah, some Nike dunks. We're gonna show you guys that when it actually well, I guess she wants to show it to you guys, so. Go on to the next one. We'll come back. The person told, I hit the person up. They said they're going to pay for it, so we'll see. But they have zero feedback, and I don't like getting an offer from somebody with zero feedback, and then they don't pay right away. It's just like, to me, it's like a waste of a week of the item not being listed. So we'll see. They messaged me and said they'll pay. So, moving on. This thing right here is pretty cool. I'm, I actually moved those shoes. They were right there, but I was mm -hmm. like, they technically sold, so I took them out of What's there. Next, this? Yes. Next thing that sold is a vintage USA Eagle military wood picture frame. We actually got this for free. It belonged to our family. A family member who passed away and um, he was pretty old and this is pretty old so he's had it forever um, we just decided let's put it on eBay and we got 60 bucks for it plus 1375 shipping next item some Dolce Vita knee-high boots over there in the back this was a dollar item. We picked it up from Goodwill on Dollar Day. Gotta love the Dollar Day. And we got $18.99 plus $9.26 shipping on this item. Thank you very much. 
And then a really, really, really nice pair of shoes here. John Barbardo's Chelsea boots, men's Chelsea boots. Really high quality pair. You gotta be able to notice something like this. I paid $10 for these at a yard sale. They're in the $1,000 Saturday video. If you haven't seen that video before, I'll link it somewhere so you guys can check that out. Paid $10 for those at a yard sale. Got $111 plus $17.61 shipping. So the next item is these purple eco biome natural motion running athletic shoes. These actually was like a pre, I purchased these before I went full time reselling, paid $10 for them at the Goodwill. They sold several months later for $25 plus $22.80 shipping. So next. We're not going in any particular order, you guys. We're, oh, my God. So, this here was gifted to us, right, mm -hmm. by her sister. It recently sold for $13 plus $10 shipping. Not bad for a free item. Pause. I believe I dropped the shoe. This shoe was worth some good money. Y'all got to stay tuned for this shoe. I'm going to just sit it down. I don't want it to fall a second time. So next thing that I'm going to share with you guys that so is this pair of True Religion jeans. This is also pre before I went full time. Purchased it a while back, probably for $10. Finally, let them go for $17 plus $7.42 shipping. If you guys ever hear people talking about making sure you price things right, Make sure you price things right. I probably had these up there for about 35 bucks plus shipping. And they never sold until now. So price things right. We still made some money on that and moved them. Let's keep it going. So next thing that sold is these Kohan Zero Grand. Kohan Zero Grand, definitely a bolo. They have a good sell-through rate. They look nice. These have happened to be wing tips. And we got $60 plus $8.50 shipping on that. And the next item that sold is the Polo Bear Pullover Hoodie. Polo Ralph Lauren USA Polo Bear Hoodie. So they see the bear? Yes. Yeah. These have also have a good sell-through rate. I believe we recently picked them up just a few weeks ago and recently lifted them. We paid $9.99, probably either $9.99 or $6.99 for a hoodie from Goodwill. And we got $36 bucks plus $10.86 shipping in about a week or two. So not a bad flip either. I don't believe I didn't. I'll skip this one. So these skates, Dollar Day Find, sold in less than a week. I did also list them on OfferUp, but they sold on eBay for $15 plus $13.77 shipping for a very used, ooh, very used pair of Bauer Supreme Classic 100s, as you guys could see on the front. Stuff like this, I price as competitive as possible. It was a dollar and I want it to go. Make really, really good returns off of our dollar day items. And now for the grand finales, <laughs> this pair of Nike shoes. I found them and purchased them blindly, okay? Cause I just looked at them like, okay, actually, okay. Let me tell you guys what happened. And she has to go to work, so <laughs> we're sad to see her leave. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you see, guys, she works at Walgreens. She's yes. a pharmacy tech, and she's a huge part of this operation here, especially going into 2020. It is not fun to resell by yourself. So if you have a spouse or significant other that could be a part of it all, she really helps me getting things drafted. And uh, she lists, she's now listing stuff without me. So that's great. We need more of that. And 
See you soon. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Okay, you guys. These shoes. I found some really nice Cole Haan boots that I wanted to get for her. It was a Nike Aircon. I wanted them for her so bad. They were $10. But I only found one pair of them. And I'm in the Goodwill searching, searching, searching for that pair. And then I saw these bad boys. And then I saw the Nike sign on it. And then just the crispness of it. Like, wow. I was like, what the heck is that? And surprisingly, at the Goodwill... They only wanted $10 for this pair of shoes. So I was like, look them up. It had it had inside. You guys can see there. You guys always look up that nine digit number for Nikes. And guess what? So sad. There was no comps for it. None. Now what happened was later that night, I'm on Instagram sharing my story like, man, I found this really nice pair of Nikes. It's so great, but it's no comps on it, but it did come up on Google. And what I decided to do was to search for the name of it without the nine digit code. So sometimes that nine digit numeric number for the shoes could fail you. So sometimes you actually have to type in the name of the item. So these I believe were like 1972 dress code which makes sense, right? Dress code and they're Cortez's. And then I couldn't believe I found a comp on these for $600 new with defects. These I listed for 350 your best offer because they are pre-owned and they do have some scuffs and scratches on them here and there. But you could also find this pair of shoes in stock on StockX, new in box. Starting at like $800. So this is a very rare pair of shoes that I'm extremely happy to find and share with you guys. So be on the lookout. And sometimes when you find, find something that just is really this nice and you can't find comps on it, you might want to still buy it. Because like I said, I purchased these blind. Now this $150 train set, let's make some noise, people. I found this train set just this weekend at a yard sale. I paid $150 for it. You guys know me, I'm super cheap when I source. I like to get stuff free, I like to do dollar day, and I love people that just say, eh, $5. But this couple wanted $150 for this. And I actually, I was actually watching a YouTube video on my way out and the lady was talking about paying up. I recently subscribed to her channel, so I cannot remember her name, by the way, right now. But she was talking about, you know, sometimes you got to pay up for stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yes, yeah, sometimes. But don't just be paying up for basic stuff, right? But so, I wanted to know why did they want $150 for it. So I said, let me go through it and look up some of the trains. Now, this train right here. Here, you guys this train is called the flying Scotsman there's only one of these bad boys on eBay right now for $50 or actually since Saturday when I looked up the comps there was one on the market and in the last 60 days there was five sold between $50 and $80 so I figured for with this train and the bag and all of these other Thomas the Train pieces, I uh, counted them up the other day. There's about 40 of them. So my mom is calling me. Can we pause this video really quick so I can give her my son? Where did the time go? It's already like 1.30. So let me finish. I want to show you guys a better vantage point of this so let me just show you guys these trains these are wooden thomas the trains it also has this piece i believe this piece was worth about 50 bucks it's a hogwarts uh botchman um harry potter it says under on here um harry potter warner brothers and it's made by botchman you guys if you don't know about botchman look it up but Botchman is pretty much up there with Thomas the Train I would say 
actually better. If you see one of my last videos, I sold a box minute train train set around Black Friday for like 120 or something like that. And I believe it was a 20 or $30 Goodwill find. So uh, be on the lookout for trains, Botchman and Thomas the Train. I should get some good money for these. I'm gonna sell them in maybe like four or five different lots of about 10 to 15 trains. And the higher value ones will be sold individually with free shipping because it's first class. I usually do pretty much all of most of my first class items unless it's only worth like ten dollars or something or not enough profit in there most of my first class items i ship out free shipping to make it look more competitive to those type of buyers and just an interesting development happened i just got an offer on these bad boys for 300 bucks but we have not sealed the deal yet because i sent out an offer to somebody yesterday for 250 this buyer that's offering 300 wants to offer 300 but he doesn't want to ship through the global shipping program so tomorrow after that 250 dollars offer expires i'm gonna cancel the global shipping program and change it to regular international shipping and i will be reaching back out to that guy and hopefully he will pay me right away for that on top of that you guys i just got an offer on offer up just now for these bad boys they are not far away from me in gardena and they offered me full price say hey i would like to pick these up uh for 111 dollars so hey i hope they come through with that i just said hey thanks for the offer um when you have time reach out to me and let me know when you would like to pick them up then there was just a few good sales that I have to show you, especially if you're still watching my video right now. Now, where did that tablet go? And these, I'm just going to show the pictures on the screen because they sold this week and have already been shipped out. So eBay app, where are you at? Actually, yeah, I'll show you guys the pictures on the tablet. Oh, but can I edit it like that? Oh, okay, yeah, it doesn't show the buyer. Okay, so these bad boys, you guys should have seen these in plenty of my backgrounds. These bad boys sold for 79 plus shipping. Oh, I'm sorry. Those were Air Jordan Retro 1s. I don't really like to sell stuff like this because I pay too much at the Goodwill. $35, waited about two to three months for a sale. Finally got a full price sale at $79. So I made about 30 bucks, which is not exciting to me to spend 30 bucks, but it does look like a nice $79 sale, right? But be careful out there, you guys, following some of these resellers that are not sharing with you their profit margins. Because you could you could have a really high 60-day total with an extremely low profit margin. Another really good thing that's so, and they've, they've already left me positive feedback. That's good. It's a uh, um, women's snow ski suit. It's called Obermeyer, and they have really cool um like stitching on it so that sold for 30 bucks plus shipping i believe i paid five dollars for that at a church parking lot sale next thing i really wanted to show you guys was this pair of timberland earth keepers do not sleep on boots you guys so this timberland earth keepers sold for 55 dollars plus shipping i picked them up at an estate sale up in vegas on christmas break for five dollars next thing that i would like to show you guys is going to be this pair of mark nason rock never dies boots please you guys if you follow me get the eye for profit when it comes to leather shoes you cannot miss something like this these sold for 90 dollars plus shipping and about a week of listing them I paid $15 for them at the same estate sale I got those other Timberland boots from. 
and then the Timberland boots I showed you guys earlier in this video, the black ones, was from that same estate sale. I paid five dollars for those. And then also this pair of Harley Davidson boots sold. Got them from the exact same estate sale for five dollars. Very nice pair of Harley Davidson boots embroidered. I wish that reflection wasn't there. But work with me guys. This video is already long enough. <laughs> Another cool sale. I picked this up actually on eBay, you guys. So for $75 plus shipping, Nike, uh, I believe SB Classics, $75 plus shipping. I bought a lot. I believe it was seven pairs of these different colorways. And I paid a total of $88 with shipping included. I won the auction for about $56. So this was the first one that sold. Got me $75 plus shipping most of my money back and the rest of them will be all profit the shoes that i just showed you that somebody offered me 111 on when i was listing that pair of shoes i saw an auction ending soon and it had that same shoe but in the size 13 in that lot of shoes so i'm like if i could get over a hundred dollars for just that one shoe and win the auction for seven pairs at the time it was the the bidding was around 35 40 I was like, I'm all in. So I won that bid, paid $88, seven pairs of nice shoes. Birkenstocks, Red Wings. If you don't know about Birkenstocks, I'll show you that. I'll, I'll show you guys that one. But Red Wing um, Irish Setter Safety Boots. So for $75 plus shipping, nice sale there. Sony PlayStation. I think I probably already showed you guys this, but this actually sold for parts. Picked it up from the recycling center. Probably paid about five to ten dollars for it. Sold it for parts. Not working. Sixty-five dollars plus shipping. And yeah, that's it. Let me just show you guys those Birkenstocks. I also recently found another pair of Birkenstocks I want to show you guys, but I found those at the Goodwill. Oh, I have to show you guys though. So. Pay five bucks for these, 25 free shipping. Birkenstock is a good seller, something you wouldn't have to wait a long time for. So I still pick them up even though they don't sell for a lot of money sometimes. But this one is actually a good one. Actually, I could show you. Oh, yeah, they're right here. So I almost didn't pick these up because you see what it says? It says tatami. But little did I know tatami is a Birkenstock it's a, a special Birkenstock type of shoe I think these were eight dollars at the Goodwill and I believe I have them listed for about 40 or 50 bucks it's a higher end one so it might not sell as fast the way I priced it but we will see and you guys will see Now, let me show you guys. I just want you guys to know what I listed those for. And then we will call it a day because I got shipping to do. Oh, I got to show you guys that too. Found something else really cool this weekend. But here's the shoes listed for $55 or best offer plus shipping. And then I have to show you guys this. It's, oh, and, and I could send the offer. Let's. Let's send the offer. Seven. I got them listed for seventy-five. We'll do. Oh, it's still zero. We'll do sixty. Review offer. Submit offer. So we're gonna send them an offer for sixty bucks plus shipping. And this was that is a Charles Parker coffee grinder that I got from the same yard sale that I got this for, and I only paid three dollars for that. So kind of one on that one three dollars for that plus this oh and i didn't mention my money tree you guys see my money tree i actually put money on my money tree and i picked special dollars like i had this weird thing with numbers it's called numerology and so i have a dollar on there with three 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 in the serial number um two 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 the five dollar bill has one 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 on it and I have a 777 one that I've had forever too. So I feel like it's good luck and stuff. I just like doing that. And I also put 
um, fortune cookies thingies on it. You know the little fortune cookie fortune? So I have one right there that says, never be afraid to try something new. Remember that amateurs built the art. So yeah, when I get fortune cookies, I believe because of the pure randomness of it and the chances that I happen to get the one that I got, it's pretty like crazy if you know anything about statistics so i take them a little bit seriously a little bit seriously so okay this will be a random part of the video where i still have this do-rag on trying to get my hair a little bit nice for the video but i have a buyer on the way to pick these up so i wanted to get this off right now i'm extremely excited to sell these for 15 dollars why because these were a dollar and they sold on offer up and if you guys don't know me you guys know okay if you don't know me already you would know that I have a ton of dollar shoes that I have not listed yet and the thing that's so exciting about these is that they sold on offer up which is extremely easy to list stuff it's pretty much a title and pictures and then I just re repaste the title in the description and that's it so hopefully I could get a lot of my unlisted stuff listed just on offer up and hopefully I'll get better sales because there's no shipping charge so $15 is $15 and not 15 plus shipping which usually for something like this is more like 30 for the buyer and that's it you guys my name is vincent jones smith i'm a full-time reseller here in los angeles currently branching out want to offer up poshmark um just downloaded stock x i need to figure out macari as well and i definitely want to get myself going selling books on amazon fba um if you like this type of content Subscribe to the channel. I post videos pretty much weekly and also follow me on Instagram at I for profit I post there pretty much daily. It's a bit looser raw footage I post a lot of stuff on my stories I like to post when I'm out at yard sales and when I'm in the goodwill and just throughout the week because I don't have to edit and You know, it's more casual. So get to know me over there. Hit me up on the DMS Thanks for watching you guys and we are out all right so i unlisted those those um dress codes relisted them changed the global shipping program to regular international shipping and cha-ching three hundred dollars in my bank account what